What's happening, people, man? We're here, man. B Real, episode two. We're with Junior Stanislas. Let's go. Talk to us, Jay. Where you come from this morning? I come from Bournemouth last night with the kids and that international break. So, you know, we've been trying to get this challenge going for yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah. So, come down and make it work. What, what are you actually expecting from today? Because I haven't really told you much about what we're doing. Finishing draw, that's what you told me, bro. <laughs> but you ain't gone into much detail. Shooting, I didn't say finishing. Finishing means you scored. Yeah, of course. So finishing, isn't it? Shooting, yeah. The the whole point of the B rule is I choose people that I know have come from different walks of life that have gone on to do successful things at all different levels, whether it had been in football, whether it had been in music, whether it had been in the business world, whatever it is. And I've got an acronym where each letter represents something. So for R E A L. So the first one I'm gonna to touch on here is resilience. Now, resilience to me is, is something different. Sometimes people look at it as a negative. I look at it as the will to keep on going. And I just wanna know what does resilience mean to you? Yeah, that's a big one for me, bro. So I have to, I have to share a story on this one. Got promoted with Burnley, but they offered me a new deal to go and play in the Prem. But I wanted to go back with Eddie Howe because he wanted me. So I went back to Bournemouth, wow. which was in a championship. Um, so I thought, yeah, I can okay, enjoy my football now, yeah. play week in, week out, etc, etc. Went through the season, the team was winning week in, week out. I hardly played. There was times where I weren't even in you the squad. You weren't playing? I weren't playing. There was times where I weren't even in the squad because the team was doing that well. But I was, I was also underperforming. Yeah. So I had that to deal with now. I'm thinking that I could have been signed here playing Premier League football, but all of a sudden I chose uh, actual like quality football over mm. that and now I'm not even playing. What's going on? So that was a tough time for me, man. But like you say, resilience, I had to grind it out. I had to keep going all season. When the team was playing certain weekends, I had to be on the training ground running whilst the team's playing to keep my fitness levels and all that. But Going, man. You don't give up, you keep grinding, keep grafting, that's where we come from. You come from the, well, uh, what, what can you call for it? The concrete jungle, do you know what concrete I mean? Concrete jungle. Concrete jungle, one way in, one way out. That's it. And, and that's even it. when you're in there, you don't even know where you are. Telemann Square, all of that. Now we know where we was, boy. But well, if you're you not did, from you there, did. you don't know where you was. Like, what is it that separates someone like yourself, who comes from the same spot as everyone in that estate, and then going to the heights that you have? Because everyone's got the same opportunity, right? Discipline, man. Mm. Discipline. Um, and respect as well, because I could have done, and I did at times do a lot of the stuff that Mandem used to do. But my mum, who, who brought me up, I, it's more the respect. So mm. when she told me I had to come home at a certain time, because I didn't want to let her down, I would come back at that time. On time? I, on time. I asked the Mandem, bro. <laughs> it, it could be pitch black. We could be all, um, even further on than that. Once, once, once that, that time, nine o'clock come, I was sprinting through the park on my own to get home. I was drop, I was gin, I was any of them running. So there's that respect, man, I needed to, I needed to, plus I, I knew what I wanted to do. Mm. So when you know, when you have a plan of what you want to do and what you achieve, obviously when I was in the likes of West Ham, I had people who's older than me mm. that was telling me this is what you need to do to do it. You can't be going out all hours of the evening and parties and this and that, you need to, you need to get your priorities straight. So I always had that as well. Um, was it always it. football though? Because for me, yeah, like my example is a resilience. I like to talk to the boys about it and I speak about like losing my mum, losing my dad. And the lessons that I knew I had enough. My dad used to say to me, look, when I'm gone, you'll know you're ready. So he gave me a strong like structure to how I need to behave, how I need to carry myself so that I was able to take on the responsibility when they weren't there. Are there any examples you can think of where in terms of you had to make a decision that you didn't realise end up being so much more important long term, do you understand? Yeah, enough times man, enough times. There's, there's numerous situations mm. where I could have went with, with, with them man to parties and mm. ended up not going and all of a sudden from that same party, man's in jail serving 10 years, mm. you know what I mean? The, the same person's called me before saying, come let's go here, I said nah, come meet me after. And, if I would have went there, who knows what would have happened. But I'm a, if you, you know me, too, I'm a, a God-fearing man as well. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I believe God has kind of guided my path exactly to 
where I'm supposed to be now. Oh, we're just pulling up to the place that we need to be, man. Special JR, man. This place is special. They're then done. One way in, one way out. Concrete Aye. jungle. Uh, listen, we talk about it. Look at that, man. man. I know uh, you've got a professional career, but you know there's always a place for you. Yeah. A couple years time. I remember watching um, the Bournemouth squad show resilience, and one of the, one, the example I'm thinking of was Harry Arter. He he um he lost a child, didn't he? Ooh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And when he lost the child, I think in that period you scored a goal against Man United. Yeah. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Like yesterday, man. That's yeah. a big moment. I remember the celebration as a team, yeah. When you scored, I saw I saw you in particular. Like as soon as you scored, you had the uh, the black armband on, and then you all ran towards him. And I thought, do you have moments like that that bring you together? Yeah, that was a big day, man. Like we didn't really know what was going on. And mm. to be honest, I don't know how H played after that. You mm. know what I mean? I can't even imagine what he was going through. I like looked over, saw him and just pulled the band off straight away and it was like it was for him that was tough for him but like you say he managed to play the game we got the win that day um and yeah all dedicated to him man but special moments like you say a team pulling together <laughs> that resilience you're gonna need it today june we're pulling we're here Easy, now light, we're, light, here bro, now. Light, hey, we're here now Where are you going? You're giving up already? I'll go wherever you want to go. Them stairs ain't gonna help you. Them stairs ain't gonna help you. Talk is cheap. Resilience. <laughs> the games are done. Penalties. Best of fair penalties. All I'm asking you to do is hit the target. I'll do the rest. I ain't gambling. Same way you are. Tiny out. Huh? It looks tiny. Oh. All five are going there. How about that? All five. All five. You're taking the word resilience too seriously. Shut your mouth. Stick to your word. Don't be five out of five. Stick to your word. Time you move early because you keep moving late. I ain't moving early. You ain't gonna get there. I guarantee you. Going there. Go early. Round two, let's go. Go anywhere you want. No, 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 I'm telling you, that is where I want to go. That's my side. Said go wherever you want to go, round two. Alright guys, that was just a warm up. Can we, can we actually get that now, yeah? Meet me where you need to meet me. You're not comfortable coming close. Good. You're not comfortable. We'll wait. Anyone got a whistle? Someone blow a whistle. <laughs> I told him. Broken you. I've broken, broken your spirit. I've broken your spirit. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. It's about resilience. It's not all about you. It's not all about you. Say hello to my little friend. 2-1. 2-1. Oh, it's nothing but football. You and me. Going there again. In the park. I don't think you believe me. Just Every single friend of the park. going there. Oh. Oh, Every pen. You've been through tougher decisions. You've had to make your own choices. This is the one. You make the decision, make it wisely. <laughs> okay, oh. Round two to me. Oh, good one, G. You brought a little man to the dead end, JR. He's come down to a few games with you, ain't he? No, no, he wants to, though. He keeps asking, but he plays, innit? He plays. Okay. He's in the under nine, yeah. so. Oh, say, so it moves on to the next one. E. Okay. Education. Oh, educate. Okay, like cool. Education, like your schooling as a player. I talk about resilience. My dad would make me fold my kit, fold my uniform after school, make your bed, because I'm trying to put him in a situation where I'm ready to step up and take responsibility long term but that's, that is my education like, what can you do to make him 
he, he, he hasn't got to no, think his dad's a gangster or anything like that. But you've come from a mad neighbourhood. I agree with you. I don't know what you can do to give them the same hunger. But he's got something inside him naturally that he wants to be the best. He yeah. wants to show it. Even if it's to me, I want to show dad I can do this because he looks up to me because he loves football. I want to show dad I can do this. And yeah, enough little situations. But he, he never gets handed things either. Yeah. So even the boots he's wearing, he would never be, dad, I want these boots. Can you buy me these boots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has to do a certain amount of kick-ups yeah. if he wants to get those boots. And he's been out there before for, for 10 days, two yeah. weeks before he hits his number. And then when he comes in, he gets the boots and he's earned them. So nothing's, I try not to give my kids too much. Try to more make them work for the things that they have. But when you went on your first plane, what happened? First plane? Oh! <laughs> well, you know about that story. Right, some of uh, were telling me about that still. Bro, that's a real story, you know. What? I never, we never done no f family holidays or nothing yeah. like that when I was a kid. I even told him that story, actually, because he has to realise things like that. Like, nothing is given. First plane I ever went on was when we went away on tour to Italy. Yeah. And we was getting on the plane, Everyone's working the seatbelt. It's not like a car, you know, you don't clip it in. It is like a car, but it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm looking around, I'm seeing what's going yeah. on, man. How does this seatbelt work? You know what I mean? Yeah. They clocked me, though. Yeah, they yeah. was like, what, you never been on a plane before? Yeah. I was like, nah, man, I haven't been on a plane before. But obviously, at that age, kids are ruthless, you know? Yeah. I remember even different stories, like going in the changing room. I thought I had the new Henri boots, mm. the new Vapors. This time I had the, the replica one. Oh. Kids sitting, have you, you know what it's like to be in that listen, situation listen, in the changing room with kids, 10, 11, 8, 12 year old kids. A fake jumper, fake pair oh of Oh my jeans, days. It was. What about the boys who are all in their states who are looking at you, yeah, and they think to themselves, I didn't even know he came from that background. Mm. You came from Ferry State all the way to the Premier League. That's like a not under 1%. It's like 0.9 or whatever it is. Mm. That, that shows you that you've obviously, you had the, the strongness of mind and the education to get you there. But I'm asking you, what if you were to tell someone like him, someone, someone like your son, same age, what does he have to do to get from there? A 10 year old junior. It's, it's inside you, like you said. For, for me, when I used to play ball and I used to play in the estate, all I ever heard was from my mom, my dad, brothers, friends, Junior's gonna play in the Premier League. And that wasn't for me, that wasn't a, oh, am I? Mm. <laughs> that was a, yeah, I know already. I know I'm going to play in the Premier League. Like, I wasn't trying to chase something. I was playing football. I was just better than most of the people I was playing with. And it wasn't like a, I'm trying to do something else. I knew I was going to get to the level of, in fact, that's a lie. I knew I was going to play Premier League football. I thought I was going to play for Man United, Liverpool, yeah. the, the top teams. That hasn't happened, but in terms of being a professional footballer, I always used to watch match of the day when I was a kid. So playing on match of the day, that was a, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. That wasn't like, I wasn't overthinking that. <laughs> Ready, Sil? Get out of the way, you I'm educated, JR. I come from the school of hard knocks. That's not. This, this Show me what you uh, learn. Uh, ed education would be. Uh, Take your education somewhere else. Take your education somewhere else. 
didn't make a safety. <laughs> yes, I did. I did. The second one. For someone to say architect, what does it actually mean to you? What do you do to create an environment for yourself to make sure that you stay on, at the top? To so me, it's about looking after myself. So one of the reasons I'm here, down here now, is to get see a physio, even though I'm fit, to, to maintain things, stay on yeah. top of things. It's very easy for a boy like yourself to have, and I'll say boy because now you're a man, mm. but a boy to come from that environment of being in a community which isn't always positive, that can actually pull you back, mm. but then still having the relationships you have with the people who are still in that environment. How have you managed to keep them within your environment and keep them part of your life? I've had so obviously from the estate there's enough man mm. there's like I don't know like a 30 40 50 man at times when you get together with other people and you go and do certain things but within that I've probably got a group of I don't know seven eight friends that's like tight I haven't had to, to, to call them and, and, and drag them anywhere. They want to be there and that's the kind of friends you need. So when I had those certain times in my life where I oh, come to this party, go to that party, nah, don't do it. I always had that group of friends that was like, nah, man, don't come. You, you don't need to be here. You don't need to do that. you got football. There's so many talented boys in our community that haven't done anything with their talent because you know what? Mm. They're not able to make the same decision. They haven't got the same role models or olders telling them to make the right decision for their long term mm. and that's why I'm asking you this because I want to know how do we stop them from doing that do you know the, the easiest answer to give but it's taken me a long 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 time to figure it out yeah and you will never know this as a kid because football you just enjoy doing it but certain things that go on in the states you know how it starts it starts little things it might be uh, i don't know stealing gang from, or, uh, yeah, stealing from then robberies then yeah. this and that and then shot in and mm. but all of that stuff in the end it starts off as fun and then it's an income to make money to do this if you have a talent in doing something whether that's football boxing whatever it is sport nowadays and always has paid far more mm. so if you put the, the proper time into your craft and and improving yourself and getting better daily in the end you're going to love doing something but it's going to pay you a hundred thousand times more than what the street is going to pay you right now when when not even war zone we're on White flag to white flag, let's meet in the middle. Hello, how are you? We're going to war in three, four minutes. You ready? You ain't gonna be able to see things that's flying past you. Chief. Trust me. You ain't seen this before. Let's go, man. What are we waiting on? <laughs> geniuses of this world, the architects, they see a plan, they execute it. Hey G, G. This ain't Upton Park JR, this is a dead end. This is a dead end JR. It's the dead end, JR! It's the dead end! JR! You're losing the plot now! You're losing control of the game! Dead end! You're a big G! Our only big G! You keep us happy when stars are great! You'll never know how much we love you. So don't take my big G away. Oh my days. Okay. What's that chicken dance you're doing? What's the chicken dance about? Anyone who the jerk? Did anyone order jerk? Oh, come on, man. Stay together. I saved this, the round's done. Round done. What? You thought I disappeared? I'm still here. 
Last kick in the game. Oh, I've been here before. Hey, last I've kick in the game. Before. Last kick in the game. The Gundam Storm. 6-6. Six, six. Junior Stanislas. Let's see it. Last kick in the game. Hey, no, no, that's what it's about anyway, family. <laughs> yeah. Family club. That's what it's about, family. Wait, Is that scripted, yeah? That's what it's family about, club. family club, family club. <laughs> Prove it, it won a fluke the first time. You know, right, I'm that's what you're trying to set me up. I've got this ball here for a start. Hey, prove it won a fluke. There's no, there's no flukes, bro. What do, you, what do you want, though? Just in the goal, bounce, no bounce. Uh, look at when it happened against Man United, there weren't no questions, was it? That, there was a lot of questions. Yeah, for De Gea, not you. Set the standards. Come and set the standards. Set the standards. I've always been a leader. Oh, for the season. Oh my days. That was mad. Average. It was average, but it went in, didn't it? Oh, did you catch that? Yeah, I got it. What oh, about the first one? Oh, yeah, I got that. <laughs> no, there weren't no first one. There weren't no first one. The last one, levels. Levels. Like that. Levels. Like that one. Yeah, you always like that. <laughs> what yeah. All right. Upton Park debut. Yeah. Was you ready? Was I ready? Not really, you know. So they done the presentation in the changing room and they put the team up on the board and I was in the team. Yeah. My heart went boop, 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 boop. But after literally, after, after the warm up, you kind of forget about it. And then I was playing. Got a goal before half time, which was nice because it was a tap in, and then confidence, confidence coming. But you know about that goal? You see that goal, yeah? You see, I said Seal and Jim was there. That was Upton Park, full house. When I was celebrating, I spotted them two both in the crowd going nuts. And they was up high, you know, there weren't no front row, they was up high. You going and believing all that time that, oh, look, mum saying that, oh, you're going to be playing the Prem. All your friends saying, no, don't worry, Jim. And then you go and do that. That was, that was the highlight, to be honest. Just the whole day, like, there was no going out to club after yeah. that or nothing. But we went to Shegs' house, we watched match of the day, and we had a drink. Yeah. But it was close friends there, yeah. you know what I mean? It was close friends there, so, yeah, it meant more, man, it meant more. I'm going to take you back probably about 15 years now, yeah? One of the rare games that you played for Crownwood. You won the game. You decide to play obviously as a ringer. It happens in Sunday league, it happens. It happens. You managed to, to actually score in that game and I was in You goal. weren't in the sticks. You was in the I sticks! Was in goal. <laughs> no, I was in goal. Yeah. So we've been here before, yeah, really. But that's what I'm saying to you. The games are done. The games are done. Oh, you got a point to prove now. Of course. It was a one-off. It was a one-off. Not a fluke because you were technically good on that day. You stood out from the crowd. But now I need you to show me levels because all the talking's done, we're getting into it. Yeah? Let's go. Pleasure. Let's go. The last letter, levels. Winner takes two. Get out of the way. Oh. <laughs> Please keep that one. Man broke his foot. Let Same me introduce this one. Let yeah. me introduce right, cool. this one. The last letter. Levels. levels. Come see Dude, just deal with it. That's what I'm on. Deal with it, That's what I'm on. Jay, I need you to test me. Oh! Into the picnic basket! Still, I'm coming to the I know what to do. I know where to put it. Is that your best? Let's go, levels. Over, shinners. Rumpel shin skin. Yeah, what are you worried about? You didn't score. Not beating me. Oh. That was B-Real with Junior Stanislas. Local legend, true man, showing us love, and I'm, I really appreciate you coming down. Wait, and the last wait, thing I want to do is, I want to give you this. Take it. 
Love. Those are the four key words that real means to me. Responsibility, excellence, accountability, and leadership. Take and you're that. Thank you, my boy, for coming down. Wait.